Hello everybody, this is BB Games, Brother Games. I am Randy and I am back with Okay, I'll try again. Hello everybody, this is BB Games, Brother of Games, I am Randy and I'm back with Frostpunk. In the last episode, we got all of our scouts in. We got tons of coal, and we also realized that we don't have any food or any wood, so we might be screwed for the storm. Um But uh Yeah, that's that's about all I had to say. Oh wait, we have more stuff for technology, so let's see. Healthcare installation, house installation, that's what I wanted. That's important. Oh, wait, we need a new gathering post for wood, because we are actually maxing out on wood. That's a first. I, I, I wish I had seen that more often. Wait, where's the steam coal uh, coal thumper? Wait, do we have like an extra three bunkhouses for like no reason? Okay. We have actually two bunk casts for no reason. Fun. The storm is almost here, people. I, I fear it is this episode. I say I fear it because, like, yeah, nerve wracking. We just need to max out everywhere. Looks like the hunters are gonna have one more night to get us some food. Oh, right, right. We need to figure out where rations are kept. Because the fact that we might be running out of rations is insane to me. Why is no one out there building it? Oh, they're building it. Okay. We need 10 more people. We need everyone out hunting tonight. Especially tonight. And factory. Where's the factory? We have factory. There we go. We need one more amputee leg. Or arm. Okay. It's not as close as I thought it was. So we can probably get one more hunter hanger up. Honestly, like, that's the main thing I'm worried about is just food. I don't understand where food is kept. Wait, what is this? Oh, we're not we're not gonna get 2,900 rations. There's no way. Um, I just worry about where his food is kept because it's I can't tell if there's like a place it's kept or what. Oh, resource depot. Okay. I mean, I'm. <laughs> It's kind of sad that I didn't know that up to this point that a resource depot could hold food. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Does it only do it in a certain area? I can't remember. No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. We need that. Prayers at work. Sir, people, the people employed at the cookhouse refuse to work today. They intend to spend their entire shift praying. We've been working like a madman, sir. You can only do so much to prepare. Let's face it, this is the end of the world. Uh, no, you need to work. What the hell's wrong with you? We need food. Are you, are you dumb? Like, I don't... Man, people, I swear. Okay, house installation. That's not what I want to do. House installation, good. <laughs> we need things to have a hotter heat level. But we don't have enough wood. Yay. The usual problem, honestly. Oh, wait. Where's the... I should have built more hunter's hangers to begin with, honestly. Like, <laughs> I shouldn't have waited this long. I should have done this, like, last episode. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Because we have tons of people that have just been sitting around. And I'm sure people have been mad at me for that. Not for the hunters. Go out and get food, please. All of you. I can't research anything. I'm probably going to need one more resource post. Hopefully, I'll need at least one more resource post. Okay. 
And we can build one more hunter's hanger. Nope, we're out of wood. Okay, that's fine. Not really, but you know. Resource shortage. Come up sort of short on resources, our needs are great and growing by the hour. To address this, we enact a law that allows us to extend work hours. No, we already have 24 hour shifts. Um, wait, can we do that for hunter's hangers? Can we, can we like make hunter's hangers 24 hour shifts? Um, ugh. Oh wait, it doesn't need it right now. Man, we need more wood. I think a better playthrough in the future would be more wood and, oh wait. Fight over supplies, sir, an argument erupted between two workers last night. Some of them wanted a portion of the resources their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows, and though nobody was seriously injured, tensions are running very high. Okay. There's not really much I can do here. Mostly because we don't have any steam cores. So steam cores, food, and wood. That's my biggest downfalls right now. Luckily, we are actually getting some food rations. I'm really, like, we're starting to stockpile food rations. So that's good. Right. Was there one to ex... Resource Depot upgrade. We need 20 wood for that, and we don't have 20 wood right now. Let me check where the storm's at. Oh, it's it's coming. I'm glad I got everyone in. Oh, wow, we're we're out of wait. Oh no. We need forty wood and twenty steel. No. And mob storms storms the stockpiles. Twenty you have twenty four hours supply. Uh, I don't care if people get hurt, man. Like, I can't just storm it. We don't have wood. I'm sorry to tell you that. We don't. We just don't have it. And I know that sucks. Kind of sucks for everyone. Honestly. Wait, what did I need wood for? I need wood for something. What was I doing? Gathering posts. Resource post upgrade. That's what I need. I feel like when that's done, it'll extend everything a lot more. Look at that. Look at that resource post upgrade. I just need one more for... One more resource depot for raw food. And I think that'll be plenty. Which might not be the best thing ever, but... Might not be the best thing here, but, you know... This is where I need the coal people to uh, pull their weight. We actually might not be super... Well, I mean, we're going to be super far off from the food rations. But we might not be ridiculously far off from the food rations. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Which is like a win, honestly. To me, that's, that's a ma massive win. If we're not super far off from the food rations. The sick are being taken care of. Stolen rations, sir. The man who wanted to go after his runaway daughter has quietly left the city. Twenty food rations have disappeared in the stockpile. Seems he took he took matters in his own hands. Uh, we can't afford that. We can't afford to be losing rations like that. Oh, it is coming. It is coming. It's getting very cold. Hope is not... Wait, 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 wait. I have not been using the churches. The houses of prayer. Where are they at? I need to use those to 
My advantage. That's it from a believer. That's nice. Okay, we need more wood. Yeah, we're gonna need, how much can we? About 19 days. We're getting it. We, we are, this is the best food we've ever had. Like the, the best amount of food we've ever had. And I wish I had known better sooner. Wait, this is a resource depot. Build, 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 build. Build it. Food rations. I mean, I would start doing these, but there's not... There's no point in that. I guess I'll make gathering post. 60 wood and coal dumpers will produce coal faster. It just seems like we need a lot more wood for everything. Like it's the one thing I wish I would have done better. Unless you're a hunter, then your labor is not done. Come on. Okay, now I need to turn the temperatures up. The storm hits the city. A howling gale bursts upon the city and the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards the rattling windows, trembling lips, utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the hothouses will freeze. We'll make do with the food that we have stockpiled. The city must survive. Negative 90. Oh boy. Okay, so we can't send hunters out anymore. They made it back in time. There's no more viewing the map. This is all micromanaged time. We have the highest heating possible. Oh boy. This is it, isn't it? We make do with what we have. Which is a lot of rations. If hope gets too low, I'm gonna sign in a law. Um, I'm gonna sign in the new faith law because I don't have a choice at that point. I think the biggest problem is the freaking infirmaries. Okay, so we're still using coal. We're still able to work coal and stuff, so that's good. And we need... Man, what do we need? I'm trying to think. We need... We can't have any more food. We got what we could. The question is, how long will the storm last? That is the big... That is the big question. Because if the storm doesn't last super long... Well, I mean, I guess it's probably going to last long. What are the odds of it not lasting long? Wait, where's the, uh... Beacon. Honestly, we can dismantle the beacon. Use that space for something else. Man, I wish we had more wood. People are freezing, man. Hey, like it, this is turned all the way up. I don't know what to do. The question is, is all we have to do is survive the storm? Because if so, I'm, I'm going to dismantle some of these hunter huts. I'm going to dismantle them. And it'll give us some stuff back. Wait, wait, wait. I could dismantle the, these, these, get, uh, get, um, the steam core's back, and I can use it to make wood, uh, the, uh, the wood drills. Oh wait, I need this. I didn't, I didn't even think of this. We have steam cores. We have steam cores. Wall drill.
That needs to be built ASAP. 30 wood, 30 steel. Let's do this. We are going to survive this storm. I have faith. They're too cold. They're too cold. Dismantle, dismantle. We're going to move people around and we are going to get it done. Once this is done, I'm going to build a new cookhouse. Right there. Y'all need to help cook. When the time comes, I'll turn up the temperature. Okay. Let's see what else we got. They just give us wood and steel. Why is it an operative? No gatherable resources in range. Take it apart. We're going to use everything we can to survive this storm. I'm not as worried about the sawmills as I am... Uh, Gather a resource in range. Screw it. Take it apart. No gatherable resource in range. Yep. Take it apart. Anything we don't need, we're dismantling. Do we have anything else we can do? Coal thumper. We're getting plenty of coal. 10,000 wood it can get. That's what I like to see. Do we put them at 24 hour shifts? Uh, I can't afford the discontent, honestly. Oh lord, what happened? Danger of collapse. Sir, one of our employees wants to talk to you. He's concerned about the danger of the cold poses to our minds. We're doing everything we can to heat the mines, but the air we're pumping in to the shafts is so cold that the hydraulic roof supports are starting to freeze. What do we do? The tunnels are collapsing. Uh, we're not going to get coal. That's what he's saying. That's, that's what he's telling me. He's like, we're about to not have coal. We're about to be screwed. That's what I'm hearing. Why or do we not have the maximum amount of people working everywhere? Like, I shouldn't look anywhere and see numbers. Well, except if you're there, because uh, we don't work there anymore. I'm trying to see, like, where I can move this medical post to where it's in a better spot. Do you stick about the same amount of room? What is this? I'm trying to see how big of an area do I need for it is my question. So if I can get rid of these two, it might be close enough. I don't know, we'll see. Y'all really need to get to work, ladies and gentlemen. The mines are freezing. Sir, it is so cold the hydraulic roof supports and the chrome mines are failing. And the tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We should either abandon them or send volunteers to replace the supports. But the task is but the task is extremely dangerous. 10 volunteers will be sent to each mine. Some of them may die. The output of all coal mines will fall by 80%. I need to send volunteers. We cannot. Like, I'm so sorry. Oh, hope rises. Hope rises. Okay, we did something good. We did something good. We can't run out of coal. They told us where somebody was keeping stuff. Perfect. Perfect. We actually that I, I think that was actually a major choice that mattered a ton more than I just realized. Let's keep this hope up, people. Let's keep this hope up. Let's go. Fourteen per hour. Okay. Wait, wait. We can make them better, can't we? Resources. Resources. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, well, we would need steam cores, which we don't have. Where was I getting steam cores from? 
It wasn't these. What was the... Oh, it was the hot houses. But we only had two hot houses, so no more steam cores. We don't have ten extra food rations to give people, I'm sorry. Like, we are barely gonna make do with what we have, because I am an awful leader, and I will say that. I, I am an awful leader. They're still freezing. Uh... A lot of people are freezing, man. There are literally like people right next door to us that are too cool to operate. Man, I don't even know what to do about that. Too cool to operate, yeah, yeah, yeah. So dismantle it, we're gonna see if we can find a better place to put it. Maybe like right here. We're seriously starting to get wood. Sixteen an hour. Yeah, that's man, we have a lot of sick people. We have a lot of sick people. Okay, can we rebuild the infirmary? Yes, it does fit. It does fit. That's what I like to see. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I believe in us. This infirmary is going to help a ton. This infirmary is going to help a ton. Okay. I believe. I believe. We have enough wood. Those wall drills make such a big difference. Oh wait, what is not working? This house of healing is not hot enough. 27 woods, 8 steel. The infirmary is too cold. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. I just have to dismantle it. So we can find a better place for it so we can get our sick up and running. Wait, they have a whole area right here. Dismantle that, we're gonna re put it up and hope for the best. More hands needed. Sir, volunteers. We sent to keep the mines running weren't enough. There's been a cave-in. Either we send more people to open the tunnels and replace the rest of the ports, or sacrifice the first group. We send more people. Look at that hope. Fifteen of our people just died? Why did hope go up if fifteen of our people died? You people are crazy. Why would your hope in me go up? What I'm worried about is our food rations, because we are not prepared for this. We we really were not prepared for this. I, in all honesty, like we were, we were most certainly not prepared for this. Like I don't know what people were thinking. I don't know if I would have stayed if I was one of them. Honestly, I can't blame them. What is this? A cookhouse. Well, it's closed at this time of the day. Y'all don't need freaking. Okay, more of our sick will be taken care of. Severe frostbite. We have 11 amputees. Um. We have enough wood. We need to start seriously start making amputees so they can start working. Oh wow, that is a lot of sick people. That's too far away. It is negative 100 degrees outside. The wind, I can't hear my own thoughts. Eleven amputees. Mines operational. Sir, the volunteers minister replaced the critical supports in the lower levels of the coal mines. Our coal supply is safe for now, but the cost was great. Forty five of our people paid with their lives to give us the coal survival. I'm sure discontent rose from the fact that, you know, that many of our people died, but 
We have more medical posts. Amputees are about to get their arms and legs back. I'm sure they're happy about that. Right? You gotta be happy about that. Going to get a prosthetic in treatment. So it takes a while. Wow, the freezing number went down substantially. That's good. We just have a ton of sick people, man. A ton of sick people. What is this? Cookhouse. I'm not worried about cookhouse. Dismantle that. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the fact that we're not going to have enough food. My question is just how long the storm will last. If hope and discontent become a problem, I will sign the new law. Besides that, I'm not willing to take a, a risk on signing a law and then we need to sign the other one. So, that being said, we're going to chill with laws for now. I, I still don't understand this 100%. The generator is... Oh, this, this would have been nice to know. Steam hubs take up a lot of coal. Wow. We're still plus 6,000 a day. Oh, no, 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 no. We're up 700 a day. Coal comes down to 5,000. And we have 5,700, so. What happens when we run out of food rations? Because that's about to happen. Healthcare installation went up. Ah! What happened with the number of amputees? What's the deal with that, man? Our number of amputees just like... freaking skyrocketed overnight. What the heck? Like, we're gonna make what we can, but like... Jeez, what the heck, Karuski, man? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Okay. Hot houses aren't even an issue anymore. Resources. Gathering posts are not an issue. Gathering posts are not an issue anymore. Cold thumper upgrade. We don't have any steam cores, so that doesn't matter. Expiration is not a problem anymore. Heating's maxed out. I really don't even know what to go into anymore. There's probably stuff I should have done quicker, but. Oh, Lord. We're out of food. And this is where it starts. My greatest fear. Because they said enough for everyone would be about 2,900. That's what they said. 2900 will last us the storm. And I don't know how much we've actually had out of that. Simply because we've been making food rations this whole time. Storm's harvest. Captain, the ill and their families have been gathering to demand that we do something, anything to help them. But the number of frostbite keeps rising. We might not be able to help all the sick in time. Could use triads to heal most of them, but many would have to die. Many would have to die. Oh man. Dis if I disperse the crowd, discontent will fall. Okay. Disperse the crowd, discontent falls. Good, 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 good. I realize you need prosthetics, people. I get that. I really do. I'm making you prosthetics. I'm doing the best I can. The frostbite thing, that sucks. That really does. But we are in like negative 110 degrees. I think it's kind of understandable that you guys are getting frostbite, being honest. Oh wait, I need... Wow, that's not ready yet. Okay. I can't do this one anymore because it loses up 20 food rations. And I can't afford that right now. 
I can't afford that at all, because we are literally going to die. We are going to die. Uh, wait, 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 I know what we need to do, I know what we need to do. Before it becomes too late. We have to, we have to do something. We have to do something. We need people filled up faster. Look, y'all are at 110 degree weather. We need to do something really badly. Like, y'all are lucky the hospitals are still operational. I forgot we had Faith Keepers post, honestly. Oh, man. Everywhere needs help. Everywhere needs help. Food kitchen. Hell has frozen over. Hey, look. We're doing the best we can, all right? Like, y'all need to understand, like, this is, uh, this is the worst it's ever gonna be. Discontent is rising a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. We have 12 hours. Darkness before dawn. Sir, one of the engineers has come crashing through the door, white face demanding to see you. I run the calculation with the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread, and people are losing all hope. We have to stay strong. Ah! This is precisely why... Okay, wait. Tip from a believer. Exactly. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. good. Twenty food rations. I can't do twenty food rations. A sermon. I will manage. I will manage. I will manage. I will manage. Okay. Oh man, what a game! What a game, ladies and gentlemen. The storm is nuts. With that being said, we will finish writing it out in the next one. And uh, if the storm is the end of the game, which I'm not sure if it is, then this next episode might just be the last episode. I don't know guess we'll see i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you did leave a big like on the video it'd be greatly appreciated comment down below what you think of the series um yeah this has been frostpunk i'm randy and please bear with us to the next video